don't have an instant pot, don't worry, you can still make it in the slow cooker. I'll put the recipe link down below in the description. You're gonna start by putting three chicken breasts inside of your instant pot. Then you're gonna add two cups of chicken broth. Close your lid and make sure you're on sealing. Push the manual button and arrow up to 10 minutes. When it's done, you're going to let it release naturally for 10 more minutes. When you're all done, you're gonna take the lid off and put it to the side. Next, you're gonna drain the juice from your chicken. So you just want just the chicken in there. You can save your broth for later if you want. Next, I'm gonna take one eight ounce cube of cream cheese and put it in the bottom of my Instant Pot. Now my Instant Pot is still hot, so that's why I put the cream cheese in there so it can melt a little. Then I'm just gonna shred my chicken. When you're all done shredding your chicken, go ahead and mix your cream cheese in with it. Now it's time for the ranch. I added one and a half tablespoons of dry ranch dressing. Next, add some bacon bits. You can add as little or as much as you like. And just stir it all up until it's well combined. Now your chicken will shred a little bit as you're stirring, which is totally fine. Now it's time for the sliders. So I got 12 Hawaiian rolls that I just sliced the tops off of and put the bottoms in a 9 by 13 pan and I'm just gonna add my chicken right on top of it. Now these sliders are actually really thick. If you don't like them this thick, you can use another 12 rolls or you can just split the recipe right in half. Next you're gonna add about one and a half cups of cheese. I like this three blend cheese from Kroger, but you can use whatever cheese you like. Now you're gonna broil this for two minutes or until your cheese is melted. Now you wanna make sure that you watch it so your sliders don't burn. When you're all done, you're just gonna put your rolls on top and serve. I like serving this recipe with a side salad.